All right, what's up, folks? Anthony here with Hawkeye Traders. Hope you all are having a phenomenal day. Uh, yesterday, I believe, or the day before, I shot a video about Bank of America Corporation. Uh, looking pretty good here for a potential buy setup utilizing the Hawkeye tools here. Uh, you could see, listen, look, 21, uh, 200 day, 50 day, uh, 21 day. You can see they're all in sync here, these moving averages. But the reality is, notice how early Hawkeye detected this uptrend that was long before the 250 and 21 day all came into sync, right? Just just notice how, how early to the game we were on the turn from a down market to an up market identified by the Hawkeye tools. So let's take a look at this, right? Comes down to two things. Volume drives price action. Interpreting price action allows us to identify both support and resistance. And in doing that, it affords us the opportunity to look for potential low risk, high probability setups, which I believe that we may have very well found. So I did some basic analysis here. These are just three channel structures, nothing super fancy. Um, and in doing so, I want you to notice something. We've closed above a weekly channel structure. We've now created a line of support here. I'll highlight that line so you can hopefully see it a little better right there, right? That's our line of support. We've taken a really nice correction here. We have some new buying volume now starting to step into the market. After you could see, we took a little breather here on this correction. Big buying volume made a commitment here as we broke through this channel resistance. We've taken a correction and on the close of today, we've broken that correction. So if we proceed higher from here, I mean, I have some, I've laid out some expectations uh, of where potential resistance could be found. So from the current level here, 33.85, as long as we continue to close above 32 half, meaning holding this structure here, this price action, this correction, if you would, we should be able to drive towards 35, followed by 37, followed by 38 half, 40 quarter, 42, 44, 25, even as high there, guys as $50 round before we start making some fresh new highs that we'll have to do some more analysis to see if this continues to push. But from what I see right here, you have an impulse, you have a correction, you have an impulse, you have consolidation, you have a break of consolidation into new consolidation, and then we have this explosive move higher here. The correction that we're looking for this is the desirable price action that I personally look for. Doesn't matter if I'm day trading, swing trading, even position style trading, guys. I am looking for this. I'm looking for an established trend, which is identified here by the Hawkeye trend dots, right? Price is above the trend dots. You can see we pull right to it. Here's that support. We broke a higher time frame channel structure. We've confirmed that that channel structure, at least for the moment, seems to be support. We've drawn our line in the sand right here. But as long as we continue to close above this area, buyers should have the opportunity to drive price higher. Now, unless, as long as the buying volume here continues to build, and we don't have any surprise selling volume, I believe from this level, we probably push towards 35, followed by all of the other markings that I have here to potentially allow price to push as high as $50. But our next higher time frame channel structure is going to come in here right around 42 ish. So this gap from support to resistance could be filled. How long was this going to take? If I had to guess this, this amount of space here, you're probably somewhere between three to five months, maybe not that long. I would think that in the next maybe three to five days, by the end of next week, perhaps, we push towards 35. If we overcome 35, we probably push towards 37 inside of the next couple of weeks, and then so on and so forth. 
depending on ultimately how strong the market's running. But financials are looking pretty good lately. Um, and again, I really like this breakout above this channel structure. I really like this retest. I really like that buying volume is starting to step back in. I really like that our trend dots in place. Again, I put the moving averages on here just to show you how lagging moving averages are, right? I mean, this trend was long identified long ago as a, as a uptrend all the way back in the beginning of November and the, the 250 and 21 day didn't come into place till about five weeks later, right? So you missed out on all this, but that's okay because we identified what looks to be a clean and clear opportunity right here. So what I want you to do guys, Obviously, take a look at this, study this, learn from this, right? This is an educational experience. But below this video, there's a handful of links. I encourage you to click on them, consume that content. And after you consume that content, I encourage you to reach out to me, reach out to my concierge team at Hawkeye, discuss with us your trading needs, right? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you're trading. It doesn't matter how you're trading it. You must have the foundational uh, comprehension of two things, volume, price action, because volume is what drives price action. Price action is what tells us just what the market has done and what it is likely to do next, right? This price action showed us with a high level of volume commitment that the buyers are in control. All the buyers exhausted, they retested into support that support has been held, the price action has held support, and now we have new buying volume here starting to step in. So if you wanna learn more, again, there's links below. I encourage you, consume those links, reach out to myself, reach out to my, my concierge team at Hawkeye, ask your questions, we will get you answers. The beauty of this software is you can day trade with it, you can scalp with it, you can swing trade with it, you can position trade with it, you can use it on tick charts. You can use it on TradingView. You can use it on TradeStation. You can use it on NinjaTrader. You can even use it on MetaTrader. So it is really a universal applicable uh, setup that you can apply to no matter what you're doing, right? The trend dots tell you which direction the market's going in. The heat map is measuring the trend strength on three different time frames, uh, And then the volume, of course, is stepping in and telling you who is in control, when and where, so that you can make concise decisions about your next trade. I look forward to hearing from you. I wish you a blessed day, and I will see you in the next video.